Unpaved roads are an important part of the nation's transport network. Frequently, these roads are the only connections for rural populations and the means of getting farm products to market. Often, unpaved roads develop surface defects, such as potholes, ruts, soft spots, and gullies. These surface defects lower the quality of the riding surface and can damage vehicles. If water does not drain properly from these defects, it can weaken the road surface, causing further deterioration. This videotape will focus on patching these surface defects. Make the repair before the damage becomes excessive. If you delay, the repair will become more expensive. A large number of closely spaced surface defects will require reshaping and possibly regraveling. You will need the proper equipment to do the job correctly. A dump truck to carry your crew, equipment, tools, and materials to the work site. A vibratory plate compactor or a vibratory compactor to compact the patch. If these compactors are not available, use a hand tamper. You will also need pickaxes, shovels, rakes, broom, watering can, a straight edge, and a wheelbarrow to remove the defective material and to replace it with new material. Equipment alone will not make a good repair. You will also need the proper materials that include granular material, which is well graded and comes from an approved source. Do not use loose material found along the roadway or in ditches. Also, water will be needed to provide the correct moisture for good compaction of the granular material. There are eight basic steps for patching unpaved roads. Step one, place the traffic control devices. Step two, mark the damaged area. Step three, cut out the defective material. Step four, clean out the hole. Step five, fill the hole with granular material. Step six, Compact the granular material. Step seven, clean up the work site. Step eight, remove the traffic control devices. We will cover each step in detail. Step one, place the traffic control devices. These include signs, barricades, and cones. Proper placement of these devices is important to the safety of your crew and the vehicles. For further instruction, refer to the IRF videotape, Traffic Control During Maintenance. Step two, mark the damaged area. To begin, sweep out the area to be repaired so you can determine the extent of the damage. Any standing water must be removed. Inspect the area for damage by tapping the surface with a shovel. Determine how much of the surrounding road surface will have to be cut out and replaced. Any surface material which is soft will have to be replaced. Now, mark the area of repair. For most repairs, mark the line no further from the defective area than the width of your hand to avoid waste. The line should be as straight as possible and located in good surface material. The corner should be as square as the shape of the defective area will allow. Step three, cut out the defective material. Use a pickaxe to cut the road surface. Start at the center and work toward the marked limits. Step four, clean out the hole. Use a shovel to remove the loosened material. For good compaction, make the sides vertical and keep the corners square so the hand tamper or compactor will fit. Also, make sure the bottom is firm and flat. 
If the area to be patched is dry, spray it evenly with water. Step 5. Fill the hole with granular material. To start, check the depth of the hole. If the hole is less than 10 centimeters deep, or about the width of your hand, place the granular material in a single layer. If it is deeper than 10 centimeters, or about the width of your hand, place the granular material in two or more layers of equal thickness. Use a rake to spread and smooth each layer. Before you compact each layer, test the moisture content of the granular material. Squeeze a sample in your hand. If it crumbles, it is too dry. Use the watering can to sprinkle water evenly over the layer. If the sample remains in a ball after you squeeze, the granular material has the proper moisture. This will help obtain good compaction. If the sample runs out between your fingers when you squeeze, it is too wet. It must be allowed to dry before you put it in the hole. Step six, compact the granular material. To compact each layer, start at the edges and work toward the center. Make several complete passes across the repair to produce a thoroughly compacted patch. Apply this same compaction procedure when using a compactor or hand tamper. Continue to add layers until the hole is filled. The top layer should be about three centimeters above the surrounding road surface. This is about the same thickness as your rake handle. Compact the top layer the same way you compacted the other layers. Make sure the patch is thoroughly compacted. This will produce better road stability. The final surface of the patch should be slightly above the surrounding surface, so water will drain away from the patch. Step seven, clean up the work site. Remove all unwanted material from the work area. Do not leave any unused material on the shoulders or road surface. Load the hand tools on the truck. Make sure they are clean and in good condition. Step eight, remove the traffic control devices. Pick them up in the reverse order of their placement. The maintenance crew is now ready to proceed to the next work site. But before they go, remember there are eight steps necessary for patching unpaved roads. Step one, place the traffic control devices. Be sure to follow approved procedures. Step two, mark the damaged area. Make the lines straight and the corners square as much as possible. Step three, cut out the defective material. Use a pickaxe to break up the surface area within the marked limits. Step four, clean out the hole. Remove all loose material. Keep the sides vertical and the corners square. Step five, fill the hole with granular material. Place the material in layers of equal thickness. Step six, compact the granular material. Make several complete passes to compact each layer thoroughly. Step seven, clean up the work site. Sweep and remove all unwanted material from the work area. Step eight, remove the traffic control devices. Pick them up in the reverse order of their placement. Patching unpaved roads prevents more extensive damage to the road, reduces vehicle damage, and makes them safer and more comfortable for everyone. Proper maintenance makes the roads last longer.